Let's talk about Essendon. Let's talk about their trade period. So they get in Jake Kelly, who I think is a very underrated mid-sized defender. He kept the likes of Dusty and Robbie Gray and Papley to one or no goals in his time with them this year. They whiffed on Bobby Hill late. A couple of key forwards or key position players to watch. So Kane Baldwin, who they took as a summer rookie, two knee reconstructions as a kid, but would have been a top five player. Um, he'll have a massive pre-season. And Zach Reed, who was their pick 10, might be the best of Perkins and Cox. Adrian Dodoro has been known to tell people. Uh, he, they barely open Christmas present with only a couple of games in a senior contest. So they haven't got a star forward, but they've got a few that might develop into one. I really like the way they're going, the, the way they're tracking. Uh, you look at, you know, basically their age profile. Dyson Heppel is almost their oldest player, 29 years of age. They've got that strong core with Dylan, uh, Dylan Shield and Smith, uh, Hine and Tip and Woody. I think they're tracking nicely. I think that trajectory, I love the system that uh, Ben Rutten's got them playing. I really like the method. And they've got that, uh, that fleet of foot, a bit like the Richmond team that we spoke about that won those premierships. They can get up, they can get back. They force turnover. And we know they're potent on offence. I think their patience will finally pay off. I think this list, this list profile is going along beautifully. I think that end of next season, they'll play finals again next year, I would expect. They can go to the either free agency or trade period, Ralphie, try and lure maybe a, a big key forward yep. or, or just the one piece they're missing. Ben King. And then, and then I think their premiership window is well and truly open. I think that this team, I know it's been a long wait for Essendon fans, but I think when they do hit the window in, in about 24 months' time, I think it's, it's open for a while. Do you agree, Kingy? Uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit early for me. <laughs> 2023 is a fraction early. They played finals, they played finals this year. Uh, yeah, I, so, I, I don't think I still think they're 40 games away from having having uh, the, the pieces together to, to push for a flag. Um, but I, yeah, I agree with you. They're making all the right decisions. You know, going back to the draft last year, that in actual fact, the exodus of Danaher and Saad yeah. have propelled this club forward five years. And Fantasia. Yeah, and Fantasia, yeah. the picks they got in. So stick to the draft. They don't. Need, I don't think they need to do anything radic radical. No, that's that's my point. Stay the course. Yeah. Is my method. I think they've done well with their young talent. They're, they're, they're high end talent. They've nailed. You know, on top of. Power Parrish and, and Merritt and, and McGrath and those guys with the others we've mentioned. They've just got to stay the course, continue to develop and learn, work on the system. I can see them spiking pretty quick. Exciting times to be an Essendon fan.